Hi, I'm Medic 3D and today I will show you how I've repaired my car using this Fisher Duotech drywall mount, a shim and my 3D printer. There's a shelf inside my car's trunk and one of the pin which held the shelf broke off, so I've decided to repair it. This is the place I would like to repair. I've previously glued the pin using epoxy, but it didn't last too long, so now I need another approach. My idea is to use this Fisher Duotech system to hold everything in place and for the screw I just need to 3D print a pin of the proper dimension and then, I hope, the shelf can rest on it and everything should work. Let me show how the proper pin looks like. This is how it looks on the other side, now I have just to measure it. This way. And this way. And now I can 3D print the pin with the hole inside for the screw and mount it back together and hopefully everything will work. I 3D printed the pin and it fits perfectly to the shelf and also the screw fits nicely. So now it's just a matter of putting it here, but the hole is a little bit too big, so I need some kind of shim to keep everything in place. Big, big. The shim is ready, I painted it black so it will match the color here. Now it's just a matter of putting everything together. There goes the pin with the screw, shim, and also I need to put this inside here somehow. I need to get rid of this piece somehow. Ugh. It doesn't look too bad, so now it's time to check if it works. It works perfectly, so yet another time the 3D printing saved the world. And this is it, I was able to repair my car using 3D printing and some basic tools. As you can see, the practical prints are a big part of 3D printing and can be really helpful, especially when you do not own some fancy tools like lathe or so. Watch my other videos, they are right there and see you next time! Więcej już co więcej światów wszystkiego niż to warte.